Did you know that the key to living a fulfilled and successful life often involves stepping outside the boundaries of what feels comfortable? Many of us are stuck in the trap of playing it safe, hoping that staying in our comfort zone will keep us secure. But here's the truth. If you want to grow, to evolve, and to reach your full potential, you need to challenge yourself to step outside that cozy bubble. If you want to create meaningful change in your life, you need to stop trying to change others, trust your intuition, and embrace discomfort. These aren't just buzzwords, they're powerful truths that can lead to transformation if you allow them to. It's time to rethink what you've been told about success, happiness, and growth. The best advice I've ever heard is that growth lies outside the comfort zone and that the key to real personal evolution comes when we stop waiting for external changes and start embracing the uncomfortable truths of life. So, if you're ready to unlock a life of deeper meaning and authenticity, then keep watching. Avoid the common traps that hold you back and let's dive into the principles that can change everything for you, starting right now. Number one, not everything deserves your energy. We all know those days where everything seems to be going right. The sun is shining, the coffee's brewing just perfectly and life feels like it's falling into place. You feel motivated, productive and ready to take on the world. It's in these moments when you feel empowered and confident, and it's easy to get swept up in the excitement of achieving everything on your to-do list. You might think you can give it your all, spreading your energy and attention across multiple projects, relationships, and obligations. But here's the thing that hits us when we least expect it. Not everything deserves your energy. This idea challenges the way many of us live, yet it holds profound wisdom that can reshape how you engage with the world. Let's face it, we live in a time of constant demands. Social media notifications, work emails, family responsibilities, and personal aspirations tug at us from every direction. It feels like we're expected to be present for everything, all the time, to be involved in every conversation and to give our undivided attention to every task. But what happens when you try to be everywhere at once? You become drained, your focus wanes, and your ability to prioritize the things that matter most starts to diminish. You give a little bit of yourself to everything, and in doing so, give none of yourself fully to anything. Think back to times in your life when you felt overwhelmed by trying to do it all. Maybe it was juggling a demanding job while trying to keep up with friends and family, or perhaps it was when you stretched yourself too thin in a relationship that wasn't reciprocated. You put in effort, energy and time only to feel exhausted and unfulfilled. That's the result of pouring yourself into situations, people and commitments that aren't aligned with your true priorities. And while you can look back and see the wisdom in letting go of certain things, it wasn't always obvious at the time, right? We all fall into the trap of overcommitting, thinking we have to be everywhere and everything for everyone. The good news is, you don't have to keep making that same mistake. Recognizing that not everything deserves your energy is a game changer. It's about being intentional with where you invest your time and emotional resources. It's about setting boundaries that honor your personal values and knowing that your energy is finite. You don't have to answer every call or respond to every message immediately. You don't have to attend every gathering or meet every expectation. By choosing where to place your energy, you create space for the things that matter most personal growth, meaningful connections and your own peace of mind. It's a realization that often comes with age but even in youth, it can be empowering. Have you ever caught yourself in a conversation, listening to someone vent about the same problems over and over and thought, I can't keep doing this? Or maybe you have found yourself stuck in a toxic work environment, feeling emotionally drained, but unsure of how to break free. 
These are all signs that your energy is being spent in the wrong places. Learning to redirect your focus not only protects your mental and physical well-being, but also aligns you with a life that truly brings fulfillment. The key is recognizing that when you focus on what truly deserves your energy, you open up the opportunity to live a more purposeful life. This is where curiosity comes in. What if you could step back from the noise and see things with a fresh perspective? What if you started evaluating what truly aligns with your passions and values and began letting go of the rest? Number two, setting boundaries isn't selfish. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've said yes to something, even when deep down you knew it wasn't in your best interest? Maybe it was taking on a project at work that you didn't have time for, or agreeing to meet a friend for coffee when you really just needed a moment of peace. In those moments, there's a strange tug of war happening inside you. On the surface, you might feel like you're doing the right thing by helping out, being there for others, and fulfilling obligations. But inside you feel drained, stretched too thin, and disconnected from your own needs. It's in these moments that the concept of setting boundaries becomes crucial and even life-changing. There's a misconception in society that setting boundaries is a selfish act. We're taught to be people pleasers, to constantly give, to always put others before ourselves. But here's the reality. Not setting boundaries can be more selfish than setting them. Think about it. When you give and give, but never take time to recharge or protect your own well-being, you're doing everyone a disservice, including yourself. You end up giving from an empty cup, and eventually that cup runs dry. When you're running on empty, you're not able to show up as the best version of yourself for others. Your work suffers, your relationships suffer, and most importantly, you suffer. Setting boundaries isn't about rejecting others. It's about protecting your own energy and showing up more fully when it matters most. Remember a time when you said yes out of guilt and how it left you feeling resentful or worn out afterward. Maybe it was agreeing to a family event that you weren't excited about or helping a friend move when you really needed a day to rest. These moments aren't just minor inconveniences, they're signals from your body and mind that you need to honor your own space. And the more you ignore those signals, the more you diminish your capacity to live authentically and present. Your time, energy and emotions are valuable and learning how to guard them can improve your relationships, work and personal fulfillment. At some point, many of us come to the realization that if we want to live a life that's true to ourselves, we must start saying no to things that drain us. This isn't about being rude or inconsiderate. In fact, setting boundaries often requires a great deal of courage and honesty. It's about recognizing that you deserve to honor your own needs and that by doing so, you can show up for others in a more meaningful way. The more you practice setting clear boundaries, the easier it becomes to communicate your limits without guilt or shame. And in turn, you begin to respect others' boundaries, fostering a healthier, more balanced environment. Curiosity comes into play when you start to ask, what would my life look like if I could confidently set boundaries without guilt? Imagine a life where you have the space to say no to things that don't serve your greater good and yes to the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. What if you could have both the peace to honor your own limits and the freedom to engage fully with the people and opportunities that matter most? The thought of living life with this level of intentionality is not only possible, but transformative. Number three, closure isn't always external. We all crave closure, don't we? Whether it's a relationship that ended abruptly a job that didn't work out, or an unresolved conflict with a friend. The desire for closure is something that drives many of our actions. We search for that final peace, that last conversation, that definitive moment when everything is explained, understood, and neatly wrapped up. In our minds, 
Closure represents a sense of completeness, a way to move on from the past with a clear, open heart. But what if I told you that closure isn't always something external, it's something you can give to yourself? Think back to a time when you were seeking closure from someone or something. Maybe it was after a breakup where you felt you needed one last talk to understand what went wrong. Or maybe it was a missed opportunity at work and you felt like you couldn't move forward until you had all the answers. It's easy to feel like closure requires the other person to offer you some sort of finality or explanation. We place the power in their hands, hoping that once we have the missing piece, we'll be able to heal and move on. But in doing so, we often overlook the one thing we can control our own narrative and the power to move on without needing external validation. Life doesn't always give us the tidy endings we wish for. People leave without saying goodbye, projects fall apart without explanation, and relationships change in ways that don't make sense. The idea that closure must come from an outside source is something we learn over time. As children, we expect answers, and as adults, we often continue searching for them. But the truth is, closure is an internal process, and it's something that only you can grant yourself. It's about making peace with what you've experienced, understanding that not everything needs to be resolved externally in order for you to heal and grow. This shift in perspective isn't easy. It requires you to let go of the hope that everything will make sense one day and instead embrace the reality that sometimes you just have to move forward without all the answers. It's about accepting that your healing doesn't depend on someone else's actions or words. Think about the times in your life when you've had to make peace with things that were left unfinished. Maybe it was a friendship that drifted apart or a decision that didn't have the outcome you expected. In those moments, you might have felt unsettled, like you were missing a crucial element. But over time, you realized that closure didn't need to come from the outside. It came from within. Now think about the freedom that comes with this realization. What if you didn't have to wait for someone else to give you closure? Number four. Growth often lies outside your comfort zone. Imagine this, you're at home, cozy, wrapped up in a blanket, a hot cup of tea in hand, with the TV playing softly in the background. It's the perfect environment for relaxation. This comfort zone, the place where everything feels familiar, safe and manageable, is something we all crave. It's where we can unwind from the chaos of the world and feel secure. But here's the thing. Growth doesn't live here. The comfort zone is a place of rest, not evolution. If you want to transform, break boundaries and reach your fullest potential, you need to step outside of it. Growth often thrives in discomfort. Now think back to moments in your life when you faced a challenge that took you out of your comfort zone. Maybe it was a tough decision to change careers, start a fitness journey, or open up emotionally to someone. At the time, it felt risky, unsettling, and, let's be honest, terrifying. But what happened? Most likely, you came out on the other side stronger, wiser, and better for it. The discomfort you felt was a signal that you were stretching yourself, that you were learning, evolving and preparing to step into a version of yourself you hadn't yet met. This idea might sound intimidating, but the truth is, the discomfort is a crucial component of growth. Our brains are wired to seek comfort, to avoid pain, to stick with what we know. However, if you never push past that instinct, you'll never know what you're capable of. It's the people who take risks, who try things that scare them, that make incredible leaps in their personal and professional lives. You see it all the time. Successful people, innovators, creators, and even athletes. They all share one thing in common. They understand that growth doesn't come from the comfortable. It comes from the challenge. When you step outside of your comfort zone, you face new experiences that test your abilities and character. 
This is where transformation happens. Imagine a time when you learned something the hard way. Perhaps you tried something for the first time and it didn't go as planned, but instead of quitting, you kept going. That journey of failure, discomfort and resilience built your strength and gave you tools you didn't have before. It expanded your capabilities. Each time you push your limits, you're building a new version of yourself. And here's the thing. Stepping outside your comfort zone doesn't always have to be a giant leap. It could be as simple as starting a conversation with someone you admire, taking that class you've been thinking about for months, or even just saying yes to an opportunity that you would normally turn down. Every small step you take towards discomfort helps build your confidence and resilience. Over time, these small steps lead to big transformations. Think about those who've inspired you, the ones who overcame their fears, the ones who did things that seemed impossible. They probably had moments of doubt, fear and anxiety. They might have felt like staying in their comfort zone was the safer option, but they pushed through. And by doing so, they unlocked their true potential. You can do the same. Stepping outside your comfort zone doesn't mean you have to take risks that feel dangerous or reckless. It just means you have to take action. Action that feels a little uncomfortable but ultimately helps you grow. The curiosity about growth outside of your comfort zone is what makes it so exciting. What would it look like if you made the choice today to step outside your bubble? To do something unfamiliar? to push yourself just a little further than you've ever gone. Imagine the growth you could experience if you let go of the familiar and embraced the unknown. This is where magic happens. Number five, you can't change others. If you've ever found yourself in a situation where someone close to you, whether a friend, family member or partner, was behaving in a way you didn't like, you probably experienced frustration. You tried talking to them, offering advice, even giving them an ultimatum, yet nothing changed. You may have even thought to yourself, why can't they just see things my way? The truth is, you can't change others. And here's a little secret. No matter how much you try, it's a futile pursuit. We all have a natural desire to help those we care about, to improve their lives and make them see things differently. It's a kind of instinct. We want to guide the people we love into making choices that we believe are best for them. But here's the harsh reality. Other people have their own journeys and you are not in control of them. Their behaviors, decisions and actions are shaped by their own experiences, beliefs and feelings. You cannot force them to change no matter how hard you try. In many ways, this is liberating Imagine the energy you could save if you stopped trying to control or fix others. It's exhausting, isn't it? When you spend all your time and energy focusing on changing others, you neglect the most important person in your life yourself. There's a certain freedom in acknowledging that you can only control your own actions, reactions and mindset. When you stop trying to change others, you create space for yourself to grow and evolve without being weighed down by the frustration of others' decisions. This doesn't mean you shouldn't try to help people or offer support when they need it, but it does mean you need to recognize the limits of your influence. You can lead by example, show compassion and offer guidance, but ultimately the decision to change lies with the other person. You can't make that decision for them. It's one of the hardest lessons to learn in life sometimes, People need to learn their own lessons. They need to make their own mistakes, discover their own truths, and find their own way. Think back to a time when someone tried to change you. Maybe they were well-meaning, offering advice or guidance that they thought would benefit you. How did it feel? It probably felt uncomfortable, didn't it? When people try to change us, it can create a sense of resistance, because deep down, we all want to have control over our own choices. We want to feel that we have agency in our lives. 
Now imagine how that same feeling would be when you try to change someone else. It's a paradox. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. So let go of the need to control others. This realization can bring about a huge shift in your relationships. It can free you from the resentment or disappointment that builds up when you try unsuccessfully to change someone. Instead, focus on what you can control your own actions, your own responses, and your own boundaries. Let others be who they are and understand that their growth is not your responsibility. What you can do is be the best version of yourself and let that influence others. In the end, people are more likely to change when they see something in you that they want for themselves, not when you try to force it upon them. The curiosity comes when you wonder, what could your relationships look like if you stopped trying to change others and instead focused on your own growth? What would it feel like to let others live their lives free from your expectations and still love them for who they are? When you embrace this idea, you free yourself and them, giving everyone the space to grow in their own time and way. Number six, trust your intuition. Intuition. We've all experienced it at one point or another. The sudden gut feeling that tells you something is right or something is wrong even when you can't logically explain it. It's like a whisper from within, a subtle yet powerful guide that pulls you in one direction, even when the facts might not seem to support it. We've all been there, you meet someone new, and you just know they're trustworthy. Or maybe you get a feeling in your gut that something's off about a situation, even though everything looks fine on the surface. That's your intuition speaking. The problem is, in today's fast-paced, information-heavy world, we often ignore it, second-guessing ourselves in favor of logic, data, or others' opinions. But here's the truth, your intuition is a powerful tool, and it's trying to guide you to make decisions that align with your best self. Intuition is something that we all have access to, but many people dismiss it as irrational or unreliable. We live in a society that values reason, logic, and measurable outcomes. But the truth is, intuition has been a survival mechanism for millennia. It's how humans navigated the world long before science and technology gave us all the answers. Our brains pick up on subtle cues, things we don't even consciously notice, and process them faster than we can analyze with pure logic. When you feel that gut instinct, it's often your brain synthesizing information that you're not consciously aware of. It's the culmination of your life experiences, the lessons you've learned, and even the little details that have slipped past your conscious mind. But there's a catch in order to trust your intuition. You first need to learn to listen to it. So many of us have learned to disregard our gut feelings in favor of external validation. What other people think, what society expects, or what we should do according to conventional wisdom. But if you always defer to others, you'll never tap into the power that lies within yourself. Trusting your intuition means tuning out the noise and getting quiet enough to hear your inner voice. It's not always easy, and it takes practice. But when you learn to trust it, it can be a game changer in making decisions that feel right for you. Think about a time when you ignored your intuition and it led you down the wrong path. Maybe you ignored that little voice that told you not to trust someone and later you regretted it. Or maybe you ignored your gut feeling that a job wasn't the right fit and ended up unhappy. Now, think about a time when you listened to your intuition and it paid off. Maybe it was when you chose a particular career path, a relationship, or even a simple decision that, looking back, felt so right. Those moments, when you followed your instincts, were probably some of the most rewarding of your life. Why? Because your intuition is your internal compass. It knows the way to your truest self, and it leads you toward what's best for you. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you need to make a decision, take a moment to tune into your inner voice. Ask yourself, what does my gut tell me? 
and then trust it. Your intuition might not always be able to explain itself in words, but it speaks in feelings. It's a deep knowing, a sensation that can't always be put into logic or reason. If you allow yourself to trust it, you'll find that it rarely steers you wrong. Let the curiosity guide you. What would your life look like if you made decisions based on your intuition instead of seeking external approval or relying on logic alone? It's a powerful question, and the answer could reveal a side of yourself you've never explored. Trust your intuition and watch as it opens doors you never even knew existed. And there you have it. Life's most powerful lessons lie in stepping outside your comfort zone, trusting your instincts, and learning to prioritize what truly matters. These aren't just concepts, they're the keys to unlocking your fullest potential and living a life that's truly yours. Remember, growth happens when you embrace discomfort and take control of your journey. Drop a hundred if you've watched this far, because you're part of the 0.01% who actually finished what they started. If you're serious about transforming your life and want more of this powerful content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the community that's committed to real change, and let's continue to evolve together.